Hi, Denny Montag back here again. This time we are at the uh, Flight Discovery Center, which is our restoration building. <music> Present time we're restoring two vintage World War II Air, uh, Navy trainers. They trained the uh, cadets on Lake Michigan, which we'll get into a little later. Uh, but uh, this happens to be one of the two airplanes that we are in the process of restoring and this is being staged to get paint. Um, when this plane is completed, it's going to go to Pearl Harbor for Pearl, uh, permanent exhibit because when it was built, that was where it was slated to go pre-war. This was a 1939 built aircraft and we had no idea that Pearl Harbor would be bombed and so it became a very uh, credited airplane in, in that portion of the war. Um, they made only 78 of the SBD-2. This is actually SBD-2P, indicating that it's also a photo plane. Uh, and they only made 16 of these. So they, this makes this a little bit rarer than your average Dauntless that you would see in other museums because this is the only one that the Navy can put their hands on out of the 16 photo planes. So, um, but we have to get paint on it so that we can get assembling uh, the cockpits and so forth. Um, this was a two man airplane. Uh, the back seat man was very versatile. He was a machine gunner, he had 30 millimeter machine guns. He had to be very uh, a very good shot because the tail was in his line of fire if he got in a barrage <laughs> and it wouldn't look good at that point. Um, he also had a teletype key. He had to know Morse code and there would be an antenna going from the very tip of the tail to a mast up in the front and there would be a line coming down into the tele uh, for the teletype key. He, he, he needed to know that Plus, he had to be able to fly the aircraft in case the, the pilot was shot. This was actually a dive bomber, and these people were coming on an angle on their target at about 70 degree pitch. And they would swoop down and drop a bomb on, a, on an enemy battleship or submarine or anything that was the enemy's uh, vessels in the water. And uh, th in the meantime, they're getting gunfire from these ships. So if the pilot was shot, which he's in the front end, a lot of times the gunner had to take the, the airplane over. 